Hi, I'm Evan Thibodeau. In this video, we are going to customize the styles of our pages by creating new style books. We can create new style books from the site menu, design, style books menu option. You can add as many style books as needed, duplicate existing, add a thumbnail, or mark a default style book to apply to the whole site. If you have unsaved changes that you want to discard, you can select discard draft here as well. Let's create a new style book to get a better idea of what options are available. When editing a style book, we are given a preview of the site. We can't click on any elements in the page, but we can still switch pages using the drop down menu in the top left corner. In the right panel, we see the configuration options that are available to us. Style books rely on a theme to provide the configuration options. If your theme isn't built with style books in mind, this panel will be empty. The configurations are broken up into categories, and within each category, sets of configurations. In the drop-down, we can see all the different categories that exist for this theme. Within the form theme category, we have two sets of configurations. Configurations for the header, and configurations for the footer. This theme is based off of LifeRay's Classic theme, so all the configurations except for this first category are copied from Classic. For this theme, I've added options to change the colors of the header and footer, and even change the positioning or the size of the logo. These options just begin to showcase how dynamic we can make themes now. The classic theme adds many additional options, so we will just explore a few. In color system, we can change the theme colors such as primary. It's important to note that this may not work entirely as you expect. For instance, changing the color of info will not affect every clay or bootstrap component that has been styled using the info color. This is because alerts do not use one color, but many variances to be styled properly. To make alerts configurable, it would require a similar approach to what is done for buttons, where there are many properties to style a single button. In general, we have access to the body background and text colors. In typography, we can easily apply new fonts and adjust the size of headers. And in buttons, we can easily modify the style for our default button types, as discussed previously. We've seen that we can change many things, but we haven't actually applied our changes to a site yet. To do that, we can either mark our style book as the default, which would apply to all pages in our site, or we can assign it to an individual page, in which case it will override the default style book for the site. To do this, we need to go back to our site and edit a page. Under Page Design Options, we have the ability to select a style book. Notice this is also where we can select a master page, or if we click on More, we can access our additional page settings, including things like theme settings and their properties. From the Style Books tab, we can select from available style books. Once we publish, our style book will be applied to that page. I think you can start to see just how much variation is possible with this new feature. Looking for more on 7.3? Subscribe and hit the bell for notifications to stay tuned for more in-depth feature videos.